Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. Now today is Thursday and I'm coming on here because I'm going to be doing a little, um, a little thing for you guys. It's, a, um, it's called like a cream cheese pin pinwheel. Um, I put cream cheese and peppers and cucumber and avocado into a, um, a flour tortilla and then I um, roll it up. You let it chill and then you slice it and it's like a little, almost like a little um, sushi. So good guys, I've made it before, I have it on my, I know I do have a video on my channel of this, it's probably be similar. This is different because I'm going to be putting more, I'm gonna be adding, adding more things to it. So I wanted to show you guys this. All right, before I get started guys, I get some exciting stuff going on, all right? Now listen, starting, I lost my train of thought, okay. Starting today, um, until the 19th of, on night, on Jan, I'm sorry, starting today until the 18th of January, I'm going to be doing a, a Q and A. So if anybody's interested in asking me any questions about me, my family, whatever, you know, if you guys are interested, um, go on, go on Instagram, my Instagram, which is L I N F E in it. L I N F E E twelve thirteen. That's my Instagram. L I N F E E twelve thirteen. That's my Instagram. You can answer. You can ask questions on there, or you can go to my Facebook channel. Create with Create Live with Linda. It's just different than than this channel. It's Create Live with Linda, and that's on Facebook. All right. I'll leave this up for a couple of seconds. I'm going to be doing the, the I'm going to be, um, I'm going to be um, answering on the 19th, okay? So that's Tuesday of next week. So you have until the 18th to ask questions, either on the Facebook or the Instagram. I'll check both of my things um, and, see, and see which ones you guys have questions for. I'm really excited about this, guys. I hope you've asked me questions. It's so much fun. I love doing it. All right? So, and, um, so that's that, okay? You got that? Just leaving it there a couple more seconds so you guys get it. All right? From today until the 18th, you can put post post your questions. And on the 19th, I will answer them. I'll do a video with answering them. Okay? Now, the next thing, guys, is this is really exciting. On I'm going to do a, a collab. Now, I'm going to be asking all, um, all my friends, my YouTuber friends and everything, to do this collab with me, so I hope that they do it. If they don't do it, then I'll just do it, but <laughs> whatever. But what I'm doing is on January 22nd, guys, January 22nd, I'm going to be doing collab with um, a, about um, food that you used to eat um, when you... Let me start again, again. Um, diner food, your favorite diner food when you were younger, you know, younger teens or whatever, the, when you used to go to the diner with your friends or your mom, your dad, what was your favorite food? Now, it could be breakfast, lunch, or dinner. It doesn't matter what you're going to do, whatever it is. Just diner food from when, from in your past. All right, guys? So that's on, that is January, Friday, January 22nd. All right? So I'm going to keep plugging it on here, letting you guys know that we're doing that collab. So diner food. It's going to be a lot of fun, guys. I'm really, really excited. I hope all of you join in and do it. This is going to be awesome. So what's going to happen is you're, I'm, going to, I'm going to post my video and you're going to come on and comment on my video saying you, you posted your video. And then I'll go to your video and put it up on my playlist. And you know what, guys? I haven't figured out how to do that yet, but I'll figure it out. Between everybody in this house, I'm sure some, one of us can come up with how to do it. I think it's pretty easy. I, I think it is pretty easy. But, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do, okay? So January 22nd, the Diner Collab. And then starting today until the 19th, I will answer your questions. Okay, go to Instagram, right, I told you, or create live with Linda, and you can ask your questions. All right, guys, thank you for that. All right, I wanted to tell you that. I'm really excited about that. And <clears throat> welcome back to create an episode of Create with Linda. So what we're going to do, guys, is this is what we're going to do. I have softened cream cheese. This is about a block of cream cheese, almost a block. I have ranch dressing. Now, I'm, I'm not, I might not use the whole packet. I might use maybe half of it because ranch dressing can be a little strong, so you got to be careful. I'll taste it and see how it, and see how it tastes, okay? I'm going to use cucumber. I'm going to use avocado, and I'm going to use red. 
I don't have yellow, but I'm gonna use red and orange pepper. Okay, so you're gonna see how pretty it's gonna look. Now, I've made these before, like I said, but I've only used peppers. I've never used avocado or cucumber, but I figure they'll be, it's probably be delicious in there, so I'm gonna try it. All right, so let's get started, guys. So like I said, you have to have softened, your cream cheese has to be kind of softened because you have to wrap it in the flour tortillas. Now, you could get large ones. I have large, but I think these are better. And also, these are the low carb ones, so I wanna make them so I can eat them. So that's what we're gonna make, okay? All right, so let's get started on mixing this cream cheese. Yeah, see nice and soft, guys? This is nice and soft. I'm gonna put this aside and we're gonna cut the peppers. Now, I'm only gonna use a half a pepper because we don't need a whole pepper for this. I might make one, I might make two, I'm not sure. Let's see, I think, eh, we'll see, maybe two we'll make here. Put all the crappy things in here. So how's everybody doing today? How's the weather up there where you live? We live up here in New, upstate New York, and again, it's cloudy today, cloudy and chilly. No snow or rain or anything like that, thank God, but you know, it's, it's cloudy, like bring on the sun, please. Where's the sun? I need to see it. Okay, sorry about that. So I got, I think that's gonna be way too big, but we'll see what we need. See how much we need. All right, so we got our pepper. Like that. And then cucumber is sitting over there. I hope it's still, yes, yeah, still there. So, let's get this done. So, yeah, guys, I'm excited about that collab. I got to go on after I do this video and ask all my friends and all that, you know. If whoever wants to um, sign up for join up, join in on it, anybody can join. It's an open collab. So it's going to be a lot, a lot of fun, guys. A lot of fun. Old diner food. I can think of five items that I love from the diner. Breakfast, uh, lunch, dinner. There's so many things. I can think of three things immediately off my head right now. And I'm going to have a problem deciding which one to do. I know I'm going to have a problem. All right, we've got this much cucumber. We'll start with that. And you got the ranch dressing. All right, so what I'm gonna do, let's put this over here. I'm gonna cut these like this, almost in strips, because then I'm gonna cut them like in little pieces, guys. Now you could be creative, guys. This is this is this episode here today is definitely a create with Linda because I'm creating something new that I've never done before. And you know, it could be your own creation. Like it's my creation, it's nobody else's creation. It's what I want to do, but you can make, you could put something else to it and then it'll be your creation. You know, if that sounds, if that sounds real, whatever. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take these cucumbers and these are even, so I'm gonna start with these. Now, you see that? Yeah. So I'm just gonna like like strip them, like julienne them. Julienne them. And then what I'm gonna do, guys, girls and guys, then it's gonna go girls and guys. I'm going to put this here like this, and then I'm gonna just chop it like this. So it's all gonna go into the tortilla, and it's gonna be so good. All right, so we got those, see? Little chops. Put those over here. Get these off of here. Just put these into little strips, into Julianne's. So that's my daughter's name, Julianne. I love, I love, I love her name. I actually named my daughter Julianne, not really after, but because of one of my good friends in school. Her name was Julianne. And I used to work at Dunkin' Donuts, and she worked there. And and I just and I I she was from high school also, but I don't think she worked with me. She used to come in all the time. Yeah, but she but I went to high school with her, and I always loved her name, and her name just stuck with me. And when I knew I was having a girl, I said, "That's her name." I really wanted Juliana, but my husband didn't like it, so Julian it was. Love that name. Love it. Okay, so we got one more here of this. 
this is really great, guys, for like a um, like a quick, a quick um, like snack. Like if you're having company or somebody stops in and you know you don't have anything, you say, "Oh, I have some tortillas, I have some cucumber, I have tomatoes, I have whatever." You can just, you know, it's a quick thing. You know, more than likely you're gonna have these things in your house. More than likely, most of the time. So, just be creative, guys. That's what you gotta do. Come up with some good stuff if you're creative. All right, so let's slice these in little, in these little sticks too. And like I said, if you use different colors, yellow, if you use like yellow, um, orange, and red, you know, it's gonna look really pretty in the, in the, when, the, um, when the pinwheel comes out. That's what it's gonna look like, like a pinwheel sushi thing. Really, really good, guys. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun for parties or, you know, whatever. Now make sure, guys, don't forget to use a sharp knife. And you gotta always tuck your thumb underneath when you're, when you're cutting. Keep your thumb back and tucked in. So this way you never have a chance of slicing it, which I have done before. <laughs> I'm taking a pepper. I don't care. They're mine so I could eat them, right? All right. Remember, guys, what did Linda always say? Don't let anybody dull your shine. You go out there, you feel good about yourself, you lift your head up, you don't let anybody says about you affect your well-being. Don't let anybody dull your shine. All right, let's cut these. So we got orange, these peppers are really good. I got these from Walmart, I think. Walmart or Aldi, one of them. I forget. I think it was Walmart. I tell you, I love Aldi. It's my favorite store. You know, really my favorite store. But sometimes the produce there, you have to eat within two or three days, if that, like, you know. You have to make sure when you, when you get it, that it's very, that it looks very fresh because it really doesn't have a very long life. I would say no more than three days can you keep. You know, it depends on when it, what it looks like when you get it and all that, but I would say two, three days, and it's probably gonna be bad after the third day. Just, I don't know why that is, but that's the way it is. But other than that, all these great guys, it really is. I can't, I can't say it enough, it really is. A lot of people just don't know about it. A lot of people don't have it in their area too, which I find kind of surprising too now because I know they're all over the place, all over the place. All right, let's slice the rest of this one. Do you guys sale shop? Because I sometimes, what that's what I do. Like, well, I do that a lot. I'll go to the stores and I'll, you know, and I'll sale shop. I'll go, I know there's um, Price Chopper over here where I live that, they, um, they have meats that they put out early in the morning that were there the day before and then they can't keep anymore and they either have to throw out or get rid of them. Sometimes I'll go there. You have to get there early, probably like 9 o'clock in the morning because people come in and they know about it and they put um, they put like steaks, little steaks on special. They stamp them with a, with a sticker, like half price or less than half price. That's a really good, good thing. I haven't been there in a while, but I'm going to do that. I'm going to do a video of that because... You get like, you know, you get like random stuff. They'll have, you know, they'll have like a, um, a chuck steak or they'll have a sirloin steak and it's like half price. Or they'll have a pork loin or pork, pork chops or just stuff that they have to get rid of that they, they're either going to throw out, which is terrible, or they sell it half price. So you got to look at your store sometimes and you won't even know it. Like you should ask the butcher, is there a time that they put out um, certain items in the store that are, that are half price because they're... They have to be sold. Ask the butcher in the in the in the store because I'm telling you guys, that's when you get all you meat. There's people in there I was that I was speaking to when I was looking at the stuff one day, and the lady said she can only afford to eat meat, get steaks and stuff when she comes and does that because she can't afford them otherwise unless they're it's a really really good sale or whatever. But she said she goes there just for that, so once in a while she can have a steak 
or pork, you know, or anything because they'll even put like, they'll put like filet mignons, they'll put really, really good stuff up there, like cheap, like cheap. Like, I mean, if you were gonna buy a filet mignon and they put it half price, that would be good for a filet mignon, you know what I mean? So really worth it, guys. That's one, one of my tips today is check out your food stores and ask the butcher. I'm telling you guys, it's worth it. You go there before you think people are coming, you go there earlier because a lot of people know, so they go earlier, so you gotta get there. And, um, and you'll get some good, good buys, stick them in your freezer. If they're a good buy, stick them in your freezer and you have them, you know, that's what you got to do. You really, really not that you don't have to do anything, but that's a, that's a good thing to do. All right. So we have all those chopped up. Oh, I have to cut the avocado. Now I've never put avocado in it, but there's avocado in California rolls. So why can't there be avocado in this? Right? In sushi. So this is a fairly, this is a nice avocado. Look at that. Nice, very kind of firm. That's how I want it. I don't want it soft, but I don't want it hard. So I'm just gonna cut it like in things like that. I'm going, I wonder if I can use this. Yeah, I'm gonna just, see so guys, look. I cut it and then I'm just gonna scoop it out like that. See? You could do that with a spoon. You could do that with what I did it with. Okay. Now I'm just gonna like quarter this up I don't want it to be mush, like I said. I want to cut it up kind of in thin strips, if I may. Let's see how to put this in there. All right, so I got them in thin strips. I'm gonna say I might need to cut the other half, but I'll see after I do this one. All right, so let's put this aside. Now what I'm gonna do, guys, Give me one second. I'm gonna get my other little um, cutting board. All right, now guys, a good tip is, we're gonna get the plate in one second, please. And answer to all my things. Look how pretty, guys. That looks so pretty. My God, I got a lot of a lot of songs in my voice today, in my head today. And you know me, I like to sing. A little bit of singing chef. <laughs> All right, so guys, a good way to get, you know how these are like kind of like a little bit hard, you know, it's hard to wrap because they get a little stiff thing to do. Put them in the microwave for like 10 seconds, just so you'll soften it up a little bit, okay? Sorry about the um, the garbage here. I gotta find a new place for this garbage. I hate that the garbage is right there. I like to do the video from this angle, so that's why I do it here, but um, I don't like that you guys can see it. It aggravates me, it really bothers me. <laughs> that's just me. All right, oh, you know what I wanted to do? Where is it? Let me see if I can find it quick. I wanted to put, I'm never gonna be able to find it, of course, because I need it right now. Where are you, parsley? Oh, oh my God, that's not it. That, that, that would have been too easy. Oh my God, fresh parsley, where are you? Knew it. I knew it just wouldn't be an easy thing. Nope, it wouldn't be an easy thing. All right, so one second, I'm gonna to get to dry. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put a little garlic powder in there. And I'm gonna put some parsley, and I'm gonna put a little bit of Italian seasoning. I like the way it tastes. But you guys put any flavors you want to put in here. I'm also putting the ranch in, so the ranch packet. So it's still gonna have, um, you know, it's gonna have ranch in it too. All right. So now this is a little bit more pliable. See, it's much more pliable, guys. I want to make sure you guys can see all this. Let's move all this over. Just give me one second. We got some video technicalities going on here. Let's put this like this. This thing moves. If this thing moves, we'll have a video too, which I don't want to do. That rhymed. All right, yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's mix this up first. That would be good. I should have did that before I, before I did this. 
Oh, guys, I'm definitely going to have stuff left over from this. I'm only going to need like a spoon. Sometimes I don't really judge really good. I'm not perfect, right, guys? Nobody's perfect. Take me or leave me. All right, you give this a good mix. You want it a little bit chunky, not, not a lot. Mostly smooth, guys, but you want guys and girls. Mostly smooth, girls and guys. Um, but you want a little bit of thickness to it, all right? If you want to get it a little bit th thinner, you can put a little milk in it. That would be fine. But yeah, see? Very soft. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add... Now, I'm probably... Yeah, I think this is going to make two. That's what I think it's going to make. So I'm definitely going to have more left over. Putting like... A, probably like two tablespoons of each in here. Red pepper and orange pepper. Okay. Now use your own judgment. This is, there's no measurements to this, guys. You put in what you want, how much you want. Put some in, see how it goes. All right. Now I'm going to salt this and pepper this because I didn't bring the salt and pepper over. Hello. Um, I want to put salt and pepper in it because it needs flavor. Everything needs flavor. Even though we're putting in a little bit of um, the ranch dressing, we still want flavor. Okay, now with these, with these, um, we still want salt and pepper. With these avocados, I'm gonna cut up a little bit. I don't want them mush, guys, remember, but I do want them, you know, um, small enough. Okay? Now, let me get my little spatula so I don't have to pick these up. Have the spatula. And this is a good avocado. And like I said, I mean, if you have a soft avocado, hey, use it. Nobody's going to care if it's soft, whatever. But to, to work with it better they're, when they're a little firmer. But it really doesn't matter at all. That doesn't matter at all. Now, where's my thing? Oh, of course, it's in the drawer. I mean, it's in a sink. And, you know, I have a big, I have my big picker up. But God forbid you can find that. Going to the crazy house. Okay, well, I can't find that. So what I'm going to do is I'll just use my knife. you got to use what you have, guys. All right, so putting the avocado in. Now, you got to mix this thing. It's not really possible, but you got to try to mix it a little bit carefully. It doesn't really matter, though. It's all going to go in there. I just don't want it to be, you just don't want it to be mush. That's all. All right, okay, we got that. Avocado in there. Let's move this over so it gets out of my way. All right. So look how much I have left, guys. So I'm probably going to make another one. All right. So the salt and pepper while we're over here. I'm probably going to have to heat up the, the tortilla again because, you know, a little pepper to taste, guys. Do it to taste. A little salt and the, the, um, the ranch pepper. Now I'm going to put some ranch in, then I'm going to taste it and see what it tastes like. Because ranch, like I said, could be very strong. All right, I'm going to start with a little bit. Give this a good mix. This bowl is a joke. This container is a joke. Let me get a bigger one. Let's put it in this. It's just bigger to, you know, you have to mix it and everything else. Oh, where's the garlic powder? I didn't, oh, yeah, I bought the garlic powder. I've got to put that in. So I put salt and pepper already. I put some of the ranch dressing, the ranch um, packet. I got to put a little Italian seasoning and some garlic. Oh, you know what I'm going to put in this, guys? Yes, what I'm going to put with this. Time after time. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm a crazy, I'm a crazy, but you know, it is what it is. Let me go get the time. Because hubby's probably not going to eat this anyway. <coughs> oh, where, oh, where is my time? Time after time. I love Cindy Lauper. You guys like Cindy Lauper? Okay, this is time, just a little bit. Hello? Open, right? 
Oh my God. God. I love God. He's awesome. Okay, just a little bit. A little bit of garlic, not much. And just a little bit of Italian season, just to give it a little flavor. And now we're gonna give this a mix. It looks like confetti in here almost, guys. So you just wanna get this all mixed up. All right, get this all incorporated. Mm. Guys, my smell is coming back and my taste is starting to come back. It is. The last couple of things that I ate, I tasted a little bit and it didn't taste bad. Oh, hallelujah. Please, Lord in heaven. Please. Okay. The sun will come out tomorrow. No, you gotta hang on to tomorrow. Come what me. Okay, so this is all done. Look at that, it's all incorporated. Now let me see if this needs to go. Yeah, I'm gonna put this back in. Put this back in to soften up again. Oh my goodness. Oh, I didn't put parsley in it, did I? Nope, no parsley. I wanted to put fresh parsley in it, but I can't find it. That refrigerator again is crazy. I, I, I organized it and it's, it's so much stuff in it. I can't even tell you. It's crazy. My cabinets, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a, um, a video of my cabinets and everything because I am so packed up again now. I got all kinds of stock and everything. So I'm really, I'm happy about it. Um, you know, knowing that I have all that now. We got four, we got probably got four rolls of the big packs of toilet paper because every time we go to the food store, we buy one. So we have a big load now because you never know what's gonna happen in this crazy world. <laughs> All right, guys. Okay, so then what you do is you take some of the mixture. Now, I like to put a little bit, a lot in it because, so this way it's nice and full, you know, but you don't want to overfill it. That's the thing. But this can definitely do two. Let's see. This much. Guys, this could even be a dip. This could literally be a dip. Okay, so I'm just, I'm going to, I'm going to spread it out a little bit like this. Okay, kind of get it. Spread it like that a little bit. Not fully to the end. Okay. I didn't even taste it, did I? I'm going to taste it and see what I think. I hope it's good because it's already spread it on here. Lord, Lord, Lord. I ask Lord, the Lord, every day. I pray every night when I before I close my eyes for everybody to be healthy and happy, even people who I don't speak to, family members that I don't converse with every day because of, just because of certain conflicts and things that, you know, we can't have a relationship, but I still wish them well or never wish any, I would never wish anybody harm and I always want them to be healthy and happy and safe. We can have disagreements or whatever. It doesn't mean I still don't love my family members because I do, because they are my family to a point but you just can't have them in your lives. And that's okay, guys. That, that's okay. If you can't, you can't. All right, so you spread this out like this. This looks so yummy. Let me taste it now. It doesn't need any more ranch. Perfectly out of ranch that I put in there. So see? So it's like flattened. Now what I'm going to do... Now it's a little precarious rolling it. It might crack a little bit, you know, it's not the end of the world. Just roll it up tight. You wanna tuck your fingers in and roll it up tight and shove the little that's coming out in there just like that. Just press it, like I said, guys, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap this, see? Look at that. I'm gonna wrap it in plastic wrap and I'm gonna stick it in the freezer because I, only, I'm not, I usually would stick it in the refrigerator but I'm gonna stick it in the freezer because I want you guys to be able to see it. I'm gonna, um, you know, cut it up for you guys, but I'm gonna make, I'm gonna do another one because I'm definitely gonna do two. So let's put this one aside, put this in there for 10 seconds, and then I'm gonna get the plastic wrap. 
I'll get the plastic wrap and I'll put that in. Now, you're going to notice that at the ends, this one doesn't really do it. You can put it, you can like push it in and then you can like with the scissor, did I bring the scissor over here? No. With the scissors, you could snip off that end, but that's fine. You're gonna wrap this tight in the plastic wrap, okay? So it stays tight. All right. Let's do the other one. Like I said, I have enough for two here, for two small ones. And that's because I'm making it a little thick. If you want it a little bit thinner, you can certainly do that. You can put all of this into one big one, one small, you know, whatever you want, whatever you're making for how many people you're making for, or well, whatever you're making, guys, you do it to your liking and to your situation is, okay? What I do is just a concept. It's not, <coughs> excuse me, not something you have to do. You know what I mean? You do it how you want to do it. This one has a lot in it, but that's fine. It's going to be so yummy. Love this. Like I said, it's so great just for having a party. Make five or six or seven, eight of these, and you, you know, you're having people over for card night or, you know, with freaking COVID. It's crazy, Mr. COVID. By the way, guys, I am feeling really, really good. I do have a little bit of a cough, a little bit of like a little congestion, a little cold, but, you know, this, this COVID, it doesn't just, you know, you're, you're negative, like I'm negative, but you still have some symptoms because COVID doesn't just go away. Like it lingers on your body. And it affects, sometimes it affects your organs and stuff. Like I'm going to the doctor next week for um, blood work and everything because they want to check out my kidneys and all that, you know, because I have the diabetes anyway, so I have to worry about that as well. But sometimes it, um, COVID affects your liver, your kidneys and stuff like that. So I have to be, you know, they have to watch out for that. So I'm going to check all that out. But as of right now, I feel pretty good. I'm doing great, guys. Thanks again also for your love and your prayers. Let me wash my hands quick, then I'm going to wrap that up. Oh, no, maybe I should wrap it up first. I'll wrap it up first. Woo! Going for a roller coaster right there. It's too heavy. Roll it. Like I said, tighten it good. It's a little messy, but hey, it doesn't matter. This is going to be so good, guys. So yummy. The kids would probably love these. Making little, like, ham and cheese, maybe, like, a little ham and cheese pinwheels with um cucumber in it or you know something that they really enjoy okay let me wash my hands be right back guys talk to them up yourselves Oh, my God, I hate it. I hate it. I'm going to do it in tin foil. I don't care. All right. Use plastic wrap, tin foil, whatever you want to use. Plastic wrap just drives me crazy. So does tin foil to a point. But okay. You don't need a really big piece. You just need to wrap it so it's nice and tight. Now, I am, you see the extra? Let me get the scissor. Now I have a little excess, so I prefer to cut it off. You don't have to. I prefer to. So you do to your liking. Okay, now I'm gonna put it in here. And like I said, I'm gonna wrap it really, really tight. I'm gonna like roll it, tuck it in like this. Really, really tight because I want it to form like that. I, and like push it up with your finger. If you could see like this, push it up. This way you get it to be more of like a roll, like a sushi roll. Have anybody got, have you guys ever made homemade sushi? I made it. I made it once. I made California roll. It came out really, really good. I was shocked. It wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. It really wasn't. Then I'm just, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm not going to do anything at the end, but just squeeze it. I'm going to squeeze it at the end, just like this. And not like this. And it's going to go in the fridge. I'm going to put it in the freezer for you guys, but put it in the fridge for, I don't know, an hour or two or however. Like an hour or two, probably. You probably need at least two hours. Just so it firms up a little bit. But I'm going to put mine in the freezer for just a 
probably like 15 minutes. So it gets nice and chilled for you guys. This one is really, really full. But who got the better the full, the better, guys, right? This one I'm just going to cut a little bit because it's kind of really full. Just a little bit off each side. Okay. There it is, guys. All right. Here we go again. Remember, puck. Very tight. You want it really, really, I mean, you don't want to smush it, but you want it, you know, nice and firm, tuck in. Nice and firm, tuck in. Nice and firm, tuck in. There you go. And then just squeeze the little top, squeeze the little ends so it's closed. And I'm going to stick this in the freezer. I'm going to stick these in the freezer, guys. I'm going to, um, I'm going to clean up here, and then I'll come back and show you how they are they're so amazing i'm so excited about the collab and everything but <laughs> i'm sorry i go off track but um yeah i'm gonna come back soon okay bye. be right back all right guys it's been about 20 25 minutes i put it in the freezer so let's see if it's good tin foil here put it in it let's unwrap it oh, you looks good now make sure to use a serrated or a really really sharp knife guys to cut these okay because you want them to keep their shape all right now let's see see guys this is how it comes out and just mold it like to that shape make sure it's it's shaped perfectly actually it really really came out perfect put this here and i'll show you now <clears throat> how it depends on i'm just reading them here um, it depends on how thick you want them, guys, to make them, okay? So if you want them thinner, you have to make them kind of on the medium to thickness side because you want them to hold up, you know? So here we go. Make this one like this first. The first one always comes out a little funky. Ooh, oh, my God, that looks so amazing. Wait, let me show you. Guys, they came out so good. Look at this. You see? Now I'm going to put this on the plate. And then I'm going to show you guys. These are going to be amazing. Amazing. And it's a low-carb flour tortilla, which makes me don't feel so guilty eating it. Like I said, make sure you have a sharp knife. Or I use it. I'm using the serrated. So good. These are gonna be so good. I can't wait to try it. Let me get these cut and then I'm gonna put them on the plate and then I'm gonna eat one. Like I said, you could experiment with all kinds of stuff, all kinds of stuff with this. You really can. Now this one is a little, I think I'm gonna I might leave this one big. Oh no, I'm gonna try to get it. Try to try to. I, know, I think it's gonna break up if I do it. Let's see. Now it was worth a try. This one I'm going to kind of fix. You can kind of fix them if you want. This one I'm going to try because it's kind of messy. But I got these. How nice. Look at this. So nice. As a little dessert for you guys. For your friends. And I also have... The other one in there, I'm going to cut that one up too. All right, ready, guys? Here we go. Guys. So amazing. And after... Oh my God, the flavor is so good. To the ranch, and the cucumber, the freshness, and the peppers, and the avocado. Mm. Amazing. And after you cut them all up, you can put them in a container and keep them in the fridge. That's why they're there, they don't have to, you know. Look guys. <clears throat> is that beautiful? You guys have to experiment with that. And I'm going to stick this other one right in my mouth while I'm talking to you because. Mm. 
Sorry for the silence. They're just amazing. And you know what else? I have mine in the freezer right now. I could literally keep that in the freezer. I think that's what I'm going to do. <coughs> keep that one in the freezer. And I'll take it out. Let it thaw. It'll be awesome. But, guys, so good. I'm going to come up with some other. The base for this is cream cheese. And, of course, the flour tortillas. Put in whatever you want. Experiment. They are delicious. Oh, my gosh. So good. I'm so happy with it. All right, guys. So, these are like vegetable or whatever you want to call them. Pinwheels for company or for just for yourself when you're watching a movie, you're watching TV. So yummy, guys. I'm so excited. You can put basil in here, too. I wanted to find my fresh parsley. The more fresh stuff you put in there, the more the crunch is just so fresh. So delicious. Thumbs up, guys. All right, guys. So remember those things I told you earlier about the collab, the 22nd of January? It's an open collab on diner food, nostalgic or food that you like now from the diner, that's fine. From when you were younger or now, that's fine. It's mon it's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You can do whatever you want. All right, January 22nd, Friday. So do that, um, and that's, that's great. So um, listen, if you like this video, please press that thumbs up button on the bottom and share. You don't know how much it means and how much it helps my channel to hit that like button, guys. It means so much, and I really, really appreciate it. Hit the notification button and the bell. This way, every time I upload a video, you guys will know. You guys will be notified. All right? I love you guys. Have a great day. Thanks for always being here and supporting me. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye, guys. Here we go, guys. Have a great day.